Epilogue Tell it again, Daddy, little Bartimus pleaded. Maximus II, king of Rapatha Island, laughed. Again? he asked his five-year-old son. I've already told you it a hundred times. No, you haven't. Maximus kissed his son's cheeks, causing the boy to squeal with delight. They sat on a hill behind the palace, overlooking the coast. The sun was just setting. How about I just tell you what happened to everyone after the island flew away? He asked Bartimus. Great-grandma and grandpa lived happily ever after and died at a very old age. Your grandpa, Maximus I, sadly passed away before you were born. But he was a good king to Rapatha Island. The Rapathians rebuilt the island and lived happily ever after. Everyone was happy. What about Astrid? the child asked. Well, she's a nature demon, now isn't she? She continues to control the weather and live in her castle in the sky. Her mother visited her often until she, too, passed away at a very old age. Maximus had kept out all the parts involving Andor. Those had been a little too violent for a little boy. Maximus's wife approached from the palace. Hello, Marla. Hello, Max. Daddy? Bartimus called. Did Josh join with Rapatha? Of course he did. Where is he now? Some say he joined the other nature demons in the Nexus. Others say he's still on the island. No one really knows for sure. What about Rapatha? Can't we visit her? No. Her cavern is close to us now. But she tells us every now and then that she is well. Once she joined with the land of constant starlight, she became much happier. She makes the flowers grow big and bright. What about the fairies? They come out every few years, Marla said. The last time was right before you were born. They'll come out this year, during the snow day. That's when we wear blue masks and dance and sing. It's tradition. Yay! Bartimus jumped up and down with the unceasing energy of children. Maximus and Marla watched their son play in their new home, far away from anyone and anything that could do them harm. And they lived that way for the rest of their lives. This has been Rapatha, The Final Tale, written and read by Jerry Hart. <laughs>